I'm Robert Scoble, and I've always wanted a radio show of my own, but now we can do that with these new audio tools on the iPhone. Uh, I'm broadcasting live on the internet from my microphone on my iPhone with no other uh, technology, and it's really good quality, and we're gonna hear more about it right now. It's called Spreaker. <laughs> Who are you? My name is Francesco Baschieri. I'm founder and CEO of Spreaker. And as you can tell by my accent, I'm not from North California. I come from Italy. And I recently moved to San Francisco to prom promote my company. Very cool. And wh what is the company? Uh, what we do is we help people to create their own audio content, their own radio show, or their own podcast, broadcast it live through their social networks, and actually monetize that content. Now, uh, there's a few different kinds of podcasters, right? There's the, the guys with the microphone on a table and they have an audio board and they've spent some money and, and all that. Uh, are you for those guys or are you for people who are maybe out in the street doing little audio clips and wanting to share that with their families and their friends? Actually, and I know that's ambitious, but we want to help both of them. What we figured out that the, is that the podcasting ecosystem is uh, currently flawed because it's, uh, it's very difficult. People have to source all their tools from different parts and then uh, somehow stitch them together. So they need to deal with technology, they need to deal with hosting and bandwidth, they need to do promotion, they have no idea how to monetize this. And this is what we are all about. We want to help those people. Yeah, a lot of people don't realize how good a quality you get just by using an iPhone or, do you work only on I iPhone by the way or do you work on Android phone as well? Actually, we're working on the uh, Android version of our app. It's not available yet, but it's almost ready. Yeah. So it will be out very soon. And yeah, the quality is amazing. I mean, streaming from the iPhone, you get an amazing sound quality. is much less uh, bandwidth intensive than doing video, so. yeah. It's quite feasible. No, that, that's actually why I do it because a lot of times we're doing talking heads. Like this is mostly audio, right? The, the fact that I can see who you are is nice, but it's not a, a necessity. It, it's not like seeing a demo of something, right? Yeah, and you can see that I'm like uh, a little bit frightened because I'm here in the studio and I'm shy. While with audio, even though I'm not a native speaker, it would be much easier. Yeah, and I, I, I love it because uh, I can get it up very, very quickly, if not live, right? This is actually, uh, using Spreaker, I can live broadcast so people can interact with us as we're having this conversation around the world. Yeah, definitely, definitely. They can chat with you, they can tweet you and ask questions, and we can uh, give feedback to them in real time. It's all about reduce, reducing friction. It, it has to be very easy, immediate. Yeah. There's uh, several competitors. I, I used to use uh, Cinchcast a lot. Uh, that didn't do live, but uh, uh, FlipZoo, and there's several others that do li live audio broadcasts. What makes you different? Well, we compete on the quality of the broadcast, much better quality, and on the ease of use. And, of course, on our backend platform, we also have many more tools, like uh, um, some recording tools or production tools, which makes it very easy for everyone to create a full radio show without actually in, in downloading and installing any third-party software. Yeah, why is there a quality difference? What, you know, using one phone, why, why would there be a quality uh, difference? It, it has to do with infrastructure and the backbone. We actually chose to stream on 128 kilobits stereo, and uh, it's somehow more resource intensive, but we think that the quality in, in this kind of application is very important. So other guys are doing 32 kilobits, and you can feel it. It's like listening on the phone, like yeah. this quality, like boom, 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 boom. Some muzzled, muffled. Yeah. What about distribution of these files? Uh, do you uh, w tell me technically? Is it an MP3 file that gets put up on the server, or is it a flash-based player? Or, uh, tell me what I can, okay. how I can play it on. The we mainly do streaming. So on our website, you have a stream. We have a streaming player. Uh, it's an HTML5 based player, so it works on iPhone and iPad as well. Though we also have the app, of course. You can embed this content on Facebook, where we have uh, a flash-based player because they currently do not support iframes. You can embed our own player on any third-party website and customize it like many other do. So it's like with, with YouTube. And also you have the ability to download these MP3 files. We make available the RSS feed, uh, iTunes compatible, so that you can syndicate this content pretty much everywhere. 
Oh, that's really cool. So I can get right into iTunes yeah. and get an audience. Exactly, and get all the, uh, the artwork for your show or your description, and it um, automatically goes into iTunes. Does your site, the settings all have that set up? So I just upload my pictures and, and everything? Yeah, it's very easy. Very cool. What else uh, do I need to know about this new world? Because it's a pretty simple thing. A lot of people don't realize how e easy it is to broadcast audio. You don't need to have a video editor and a camera guy. Mm -hmm. and an audio crew like I, like Rocky does, you know, for me. But uh, is there anything else that I need to know? When not really, not really. Yeah. You, you learn by doing. Actually, you need to learn how to create good content. But it's kind of fun. Yeah. So could you take me through the user interface uh, a little bit of this app mm -hmm. and uh, explain what's going on? I'll try. Yeah. I'll do my best. All right. Once you're logged on, um, you'll see this menu. It's a very simple menu. You got. Uh, mainly four options, plus the ability to see your news feed, which uh, at present time is empty because you just logged on. And what you see here is like um, four main components. There are live broadcasts, which are people uh, broadcasting live at this precise moment in the world. You can sort them by popularity, uh, by geolocalization, or by your favorites. Uh, same thing for pre-recorded content. We separated them because uh, there are two totally different experience. But the cool thing is here with the mic. And uh, you go to this uh, menu where you mainly have two options. You can do a live broadcast or a pre-recorded broadcast. So if uh, a pre-recorded podcast. So if you do not have network coverage, you probably want to record something and publish it later on or edit it later. So, on. so th that I didn't know. So can I record using the audio recorder here? Exactly. And record maybe uh, thir 20 minutes? and then use the... Exactly. It's even easier than before because you don't have to specify anything. You just record. Then it, it ends up in the saved uh, podcast directory. You can edit title, do whatever, and then publish it to our page, to your Facebook page, and syndicate it. Um, the live thing, of course, works um, if there is network coverage. Uh, here in the interface, what you have to do is basically select one of your many podcasts so um, a podcast for us is a container of files or episodes. Um, you and a group of friends uh, sharing the same account can have more than one podcast uh, talking about different verticals. And once you have selected it, you just input the title of the episode. Yep. And then when, it, when you're done, you just push the rec button and you're live on air. Wow, it's pretty easy. On the uh, website, what, what does that look like? And, uh, on the website, um, same thing. Um, the only thing you have to do is to push on the record button. And um, a, a mixing console shows up. What you have is a voice channel, yep. two music tracks with faders, and a sound effects pad. So you basically preload your music and your sound effects. It's oh, anything wow. like uh, laughter, claps, uh, background noise, music, and you start talking. You can even do uh, live or pre-recorded and double the studio production facilities. Wow. So you can do a full-on uh, uh, you know, Rush Limbaugh-style radio show. Yeah, exactly. It's, kind of, it's, it's good for comedians. It's good for people who like to show off. But it's also good to, to for having some fun. How are you going to make money with this? Would so we are, we are a freemium company, and we also have advertising. So on our free plans, uh, we have ads, both display and audio ads. And uh, on our premium plan, you get more storage, more bandwidth, and you get rid of the ads. And the cool thing about this is that um, we have those 30 seconds radio like ads that you can uh, trigger at any time during your broadcast. And we do rev sharing with our hosts. Well. We are starting right now, but our plans are to help people monetize their own creation. Uh, it's can think you can think of it like um, the sum of a, a blogging platform like Blogger or WordPress plus AdSense, all packaged for audio. That's yeah. it. Very cool. Uh, how are you funded? We are funded. We raised some money in Italy. It's uh, seed funding uh, converted into U.S. dollars as. Um, roughly a bit more than a million dollars. We've got 750k euros. Mm -hmm. That's very yeah. good. And are you, you're trying to, you moved here to San Francisco to try to build a global brand around this? Yeah, we're trying, we moved here to San Francisco because we're very interested in the American um, user base and the American market. Uh, one thing that you have here in the US is 
300 million people who are speaking the same language. We don't have that in Europe, yeah. mainly early adopters. And uh, also I have to say that talk radio, which is the format we're going towards, is very popular here, while it's not that popular in Europe. No, that, that totally makes sense. And I, I love talk radio. That's why I love these kinds of apps, because I can go out on the street and interview somebody. I was at the World Economic Forum and doing this. Mm -hmm. And it, it's just remarkable that you have this uh, kind of power in your hand now. Yeah, oh. everyone. When next time I, I meet you, I probably shoot up the speaker app and say, hey, I'm here with Robert Scobble, and everybody will be jealous at home on my Facebook page. Very <laughs> cool. Where do we learn more about it, and where do we get the app? Uh, so you get the app on the Apple Store, and you learn more about it on our website, which is www.spreaker.com, spelled uh, S-P-R-E-A-K-E-R. -E -E yeah, it's two R's in there. Yeah, there's, there's one R. Well, more. Yeah. Thank you so much for being our first interview at the Rackspace Studio. We're going to be building this out over the next few uh, few weeks. So. That was awesome. Thank yeah. you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you.